Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for a special look at my new craft studio. I've been developing a room in my home that's just for me to be able to create in. So I'd like to share all the details with you today. This is a very small room that used to be the nursery for my children. And as they've grown older, they've gotten into their own bedroom together and that leaves me with some space. Here's a quick look at my husband and the work that he did with painting the walls in the room. It was a neutral color and we painted it with a very nice, um, I guess you would call it a semi-gloss white, something that will resist and wash up any kind of stains that get onto the wall. So that was a really fun process that we worked on together. Here's a look at Trip, and what kid can't resist going into a freshly painted room? <laughs> Trip was really excited to see the changes that were coming in this room that he shared when he was a baby. One of the items that I purchased first were the window treatments and a clock. I was very targeted on the look that I didn't want to have. I knew the look I wanted, but avoiding the look that I didn't want was what helped me find what worked better for me. These curtain slash window shades from Target.com, and I believe it was from Target's own house brand, they were perfect in that they were neutral, they were feminine but not little too frilly and not lacy at all and I have the ability to loosen up the ties and have them go down completely flat and those strings will just hang down flat as well. This is great when I have my late night crafting sessions because my schedule fluctuates around what my children's um, needs are. So this was really important. I was very happy to find those at target.com. There's no padded flooring in this room and so I knew I needed to get an area rug for my children if for nothing else because my kids want to be where I am and if I'm spending my time crafting then they want to be <laughs> spending time right there with me as well. My husband and I chose this piece of an area rug from a discount store that we have local in New Jersey called Ollie's, O-L-L-I-E. And it's like a bargain place, almost like Big Lots, but not quite. So this area rug is nine by seven. It doesn't have a very deep pile on it. It's just perfect, it's neutral, and when my children come to lay on the floor beside me while I'm working, then it allows them to have a safe place and not lay on the floor bare. <laughs> and you could see Trip. Trip loves to have time with mommy and there's a fresh rug. Fresh rug means rolling and rolling and rolling. <laughs> the joys of a child. So I also chose to get some storage units from Ikea and I chose the Calyx units because of their strength and durability. I looked at a few different brands and Calyx was the one that looked like it would be easiest to put together and it would maintain itself the best. And they had some really good options for how many cubes um, I ended up getting two units that are two by four cubes. And as you can see here, Nate really wanted to help out as well. So this is what they look like when they're put on together. And I have them on opposite walls because it is a very small room. And there's Gary. He's, he's putting them in place. This is a really exciting moment for all of us because we worked quite a while to make this happen. And he put them all together himself, which is wonderful. So here's how I chose to fill those cubes. I have paper storage. Those, these are called the uh, magazine holders. They are from Ikea. That you can get them from many different discount stores, such as Target or Walmart. 
and I keep my cardstock in them. For the areas that have a cube, this was really important to me to be able to have the little things like glue um, and the sponge daubers, everything that my kids can get their fingers on and kind of get into and get hurt. I wanted it to be put away so that they can't see it. And so I supplemented some of my storage cubes with some cubes from Amazon. These are a larger cube. They're not easy to slide in and out. And Mr. Nathaniel right here does not have an easy time getting into them. And that was my whole goal. I want everything locked away because number one, my kid's safety is really important. And number two, it's, it's nice for me to have everything be nice and tidy. And doesn't he just look like he's gonna get into some trouble here? I mean, this boy in trouble. They can find each other in a heartbeat. So everything's locked up nice and safe. I also have some more storage in the form of a wooden bookcase that my husband had for I don't know how long. He doesn't even remember. But it was a black wooden bookcase and it is solid wood and it is so sturdy. I knew that this is where I wanted to have my paper cutting station. And so I give it a couple of coats of paint that includes a primer and now it matches everything else perfectly and I'm able to store my shipping supplies there as well. It works out really nicely with the rest of the items in the room. This is where I film all of my videos. I've gotten this very simple table from Walmart that my husband put together. It's called a Parson desk. It's made from particle board, extremely lightweight, almost a little too white, lightweight for me, but it'll do. And it sits right in front of a window that gives me lots of natural light. And this helps me to take my photographs and my videos. So this is the station that I use for photography and videos. I have my Archon stand, the Fovatech lamps that I've gotten from Amazon, and then I keep a small container of supplies that I use for my videos. The container itself is from Interdesign Storage and I purchased it from Amazon. And I have to tell you that I am in love with interdesign products. It's a very high quality plastic bin that is great for so many things. And this is the view outside of my craft room. And um, there's a beautiful rose bush down at the bottom. I was given a wonderful looking orchid here for Mother's Day. And I think it's called a Phalaenopsis. I find that it's very calming and I really like to have something living around me at all times. I have lots of plants in my home. It was really important for me also to be able to have access in this very small room for all of my punches and my big shot. And I knew I was gonna be short on table space. So this little rolling cart from Target that is from their home brand, um, Room Essentials, is very close to the Raskog from Ikea. I put it together myself. Husband did not do this one. And I put the top bin upside down so that it will hold the big shot. And it works out very well and it's incredibly sturdy. For my birthday recently, my husband and my kids bought me a chair to go in my craft room and I went to staples.com and chose a chair from a selection that my husband had made and he put this together as well. It comes in a very flat box. So this chair is um, the source of a lot of I want to do some spinning mommy and <laughs> we've had to determine that this chair is not for spinning. But I love that it matches everything and it's very comfortable and it fits well against my back. As you know, lighting is probably one of the most important things in a studio space. And I don't have any overhead lights. I rely pretty much on natural light coming from the one window in the room that faces the outside of my home. 
So I found this very good deal on at Walmart. It was at the walk-in store. And it's a floor lamp reading lamp combination. It was about $12. And what I find most useful here is that the top has a 150 watt light bulb that gives off a tremendous amount of light. And then the bottom gives off, I can put a 60 watt uh, daylight reading light bulb that works really well for just when I need that little extra help with my eyes. Being as storage is really important to me in my studio space, I found this ribbon ladder at joanne.com. It had mixed reviews on whether it was sturdy enough, but I took a chance on it. It was extremely affordable, around about $17.99. And it has these very thin dowels that hold the ribbon. And I think it's fine. I'm not having a problem with it. In fact, I paired it up here with that clock that I found before I started decorating. And I really like the, how the clock turned out to match the decor in the room. I don't have my camera and USB microphone put away. I kind of have it put up instead. And I don't mind seeing it. I like to be able to see the things and grab them quickly when I need them. So I've just put them on top of one of the Calyx units. And I have my Stampin' Blend stored in a Recollections brand from Michaels. Um, they just slide in here and sit with the light and dark color combos. And I have a few miscellaneous things like the Stampin' Buddy and um, Embossing Buddy, I mean. And um, here is a look at Nathaniel with the last edition that I have to share with you today. The kids bought me a wax warmer for my birthday. And um, Nathaniel was the one who picked it out. He was so happy to be able to do this. And knowing that it was going to go into Mommy's work they, they call it mommy's work. So when Nate gets a little upset with me, he says, mommy, you go work. <laughs> Thank you all so much for taking the time to spend with me today. I'm so glad that I could share um, some of the things that I found. Some of the items that I'm able to share with you are listed in the blog post that has a link down in the video description. Um, I am not compensated for any of the links from any of the stores at all. They are just for your reference. So, for example, if you go to Walmart to look for something, then you might find it or you might not find it. And it would be something that you're def I'm, I'm just recommending what works for me. So thanks again. I appreciate it. If you have any questions that I can help you with, then just put them down in the video description below. I'll see you next week with a card. Thanks. Bye-bye.